the fourth pentoptic. You see the number four is the hands of a clock, the fourth dimension, time. Now I put here the checkerboard emptoptic you know, for our, our American cousins, but this is probably the way we're all going to think of it. Like from the Omar, Omar Khayyam, it is all a checkerboard of nights and days. The checkerboard, the checkerboard endoptic. Now, the endurance of the wave from number three is what sound is. So, sound is time. And on this relativity level, we're dealing with the soundtrack. Now, in the body, we have these two organs that determine time. First of all, the lungs, with the rhythm of the breathing. Here's the symbol for the lungs, the two lobes of the lungs, symbol for Leo, the rhythm of the breath, pranayama, and then the large intestine. And there we have the symbol for the large intestine, you know, coil. And a, and a block at the bottom, the anal sphincter, Virgo, the regu regularity. So we have these two ideas of time, regularity and rhythm. So here we have the ear, and the obviously the ear can be developed through other senses. Here we put the echo, echo location, sonar, ultrasound, all of these giving images of the environment, the variation of, over time. And so we have the input of the hearing and then the output of the officer. You could say the output of the listener, but usually it's the officer who's you know, giving the instructions. This is the level of character. So it relates, as I say, it's time, so it relates to history, to language, and to the energy, it relates to character. Now in Freud, you see, the lungs would be given the oral character and the large intestine would be given the anal character, depending on the tensions with the energy feelings in the body. It determines the character and then the functioning of the officer, you know, determining the, the time and give, you know, giving instructions. Like an officer in a hearing, literally. <laughs>